Welcome back. In the previous video we have built the state abstraction, which is a state in the finite automata. Uh, and today we start our discussion about the basic NFA fragments uh, used for implementing regular expressions. During this course we'll be using gradual implementation approach, starting from the very basic machines and eventually building compound complex machines, uh, which consist from these basic blocks. Today we consider two very basic machines, which are used for everything else in NFAs and DFAs, and uh, which are the single character and the empty string, uh, also known as epsilon state machines. So let's start from the character machine first. The single character machine corresponds to the regular expression, which accepts only one character, for example, character A. To emphasize that this machine explicitly accepts only one character A, uh, we have the markers of the beginning and the end of the string. And in our examples, we'll be actively using this uh, end of the string symbol. So, as we know from the previous lecture, any state machine should have a starting state and at least one acceptance state. To make construction of our machines simpler, we'll maintain the invariant of always having just one starting state and just one acceptance state. Okay? And this basically describes our first machine for the single character. We just connect the starting state to the acceptance state on the transition of the character A. Now let's see how this machine works. In our examples, we're going to represent strings as tapes of characters with explicit end of string character, uh, which is denoted as dollar sign, as we said. So uh, we start with two cursors. First is tracking the current state in the state machine, and uh, the second points to the current character in the string. And uh, the only possible transition from the starting state is the transition labeled with the character A, which expects the character A currently in the string. Luckily, in our example, we exactly have the character A uh, at the current position, so we consume this character A and uh, advance the pointer in the string. And now we have the right to transit to the destination state, since we satisfy the condition of this edge by consuming this character. Right, so if in this case we would have, say, character B, uh, the transition won't be possible. Now our string pointer points to the end of the string, uh, which means we have consumed all the characters. What we check now is whether after all transitions we end up in some acceptance state. And in our case this is true, since this state is double circled, that is it's accepting. And uh, this means our machine accepts this string. Ok, now let's see how we actually go into encode an NFA. This will be our NFA class. And uh, regardless how complex a specific machine will be, uh, as we said, we're going to maintain the invariant of having only one input state and only one output state. So let's accept these two states as parameters to our constructor. And each NFA also will have the test method, uh, which is exactly the testing whether this machine accepts the string or not. As we said, to accept a string means transitioning from state to state, consuming the characters from the string, until we reach an acceptance state. So the test method uh, in the NFA is just a thin wrapper which delegates the test method uh, to the input state. We will implement the test method uh, on the state itself in the next lectures, but for now we should just say that it will just traverse the NFA graph uh, transitioning from state to state. So uh, this is our NFA class. Now let's introduce a convenient factory function specifically for our single character machine, which we've just discussed. So the factory accepts the single character, and it should build an NFA for it. Looking again at the picture of our machine, we see that it should have input state. So let's do this. Uh, then it has output state, uh, which should be accepting. And uh, finally, the input state should have the single transition labeled with the past character. And uh, this transition should go to the output state. And then we return an actual NFA instance, which encapsulates the logic of this machine. Here's how we construct a regular expression which accepts only one character. And as we said, the test, which we'll implement later, will actually test whether this machine accepts a string or not. Ok, now let's define the second very basic machine, known as the epsilon machine. Recall from the previous lecture that the epsilon stands for the empty string. And in the regular expression, it's denoted as just two markers, beginning and the end of the string. From the NFA perspective, an epsilon machine looks exactly the same as the single character machine. Uh, it also has start and acceptance state, uh, 
uh, but instead of an actual character, it has this special epsilon character on this transition. The specifics of the epsilon machine is that it can transit from one state to another without consuming any character from the string. Let's see the example. So we have the empty string, the cursor is pointing to the end of the string, uh, which is by coincidence is also the beginning of the string, since the string is empty. So the epsilon transition allows us going to the next state, keeping the string cursor at the same position. Now the string cursor is still pointing to the end of the string, and we end up in the accepting state, uh, so the string is accepted. As for implementation, your state can keep either a separate list of epsilon transitions, or we can just reuse uh, the character machine, providing the special epsilon value there. So such machine accepts an empty string, but nothing else. As we said, the single character and the epsilon are the very basic machines. That is, they are fundamental building blocks for everything else in regular expressions. Having different combinations of just these two machines, we can build very complex machines, uh, such as concatenation, repetition, character classes, groups, etc. Okay, here is the small summary for today's lecture. Let's take a look. As we said, each NFA fragment is an abstraction which has only one input and one output state. The details of its implementation are hidden. Inside this black box might be a single character machine or any complex machine, as we will see. And uh, the two basic machines, uh, which we discussed today, the single character and the epsilon machine, are used to build everything else in regular expressions. In the next lectures, we're going to build three more basic machines. Those machines will be built on top of the basic building blocks we discussed today. The first compound basic NFA we consider is the concatenation pattern, and uh, which we'll be discussing in the next video.